Well, the town of Jonesboro is kicking off the holiday weekend with a low country boil coming up Thursday night. What a fun way to start this year's annual Jonesboro Days. And here with more on that and the rest of the festival, we've got Melinda Cott back with us, and it's always good to have you on the show. Yes, thank you. Big couple days over there yes. in Jonesboro. You guys Kicks get off excited. tomorrow. We're ready to go. And you guys always do the community dinner, which I love. And again, this year you're doing that low country boil. You just throw everything yes. out on the table. Just pull your sleeves up and dig in. And as a community, which yes. is so what it's all about. For yeah, you guys. absolutely, absolutely. Um, this is the third year that we've done the Low Country Shrimp Boil. It all takes place on the courtyard of the Storytelling Center. We have live music going on right then. The JRT players actually come and do a little snippet of the USO show, which is really fun. Okay. And shrimp, crawfish, corn, cobbler. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> and you've got a few tickets left. You said if you want we, to take part in this, you yes, do need to. Yes, we have very few tickets left. Call the visitor center and get yours. Um, you can pick them up there or just if you go ahead and pay with a credit card, you can pick them up the door. Um, yes, so get, get on that on if that you're now. wanting to get those. Yeah. And that's the perfect kickoff for Jonesboro Days, which yes. is such a tradition. And you've got some music that night as well, so everything just kind of taking place. Yeah, in the to beginning. tie in with the beach theme, um, we've hosted the Beach Night Band, and this is also the third year that we've hosted them. And they're just such a fun band, you know, Beach Boy style music. They do a patriotic tribute too, which is really nice mm. to the veterans. And it's just it's just a great kind of tie in with the Low Country Shrimp Boil. And then also starting at 8:30, we have a showing of Movies on Main, and we'll be showing Goodbye Miss Fourth of July, which was filmed. Oh in downtown Jonesboro in the How 90s. How cool is so, that? Yeah. Full circle. Full circle. You guys really thought this through. Yes. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And then Friday, of course, another big day. Friday festival kicks off again at 10 a.m. and have all kinds of great craft vendors. The craft vendors will be there Thursday, too. Thursday, everything Friday, starts. Saturday. Everything starts Thursday at 5 p.m. and goes until Saturday, 10 p.m. So a full great lineup of homemade vendors, handmade crafts, um, marketplace vendors, some great food, of course, mm. lots of children's activities, free train rides. And then Friday night, we've got some good music too. We've got White Top Mountain Band. It's doing oh, a, nice. a great, great bluegrass band yeah. out of Virginia. And then also um, Blue Fox, which is going to be a great rock and roll kind of tribute show. So a little bit of a taste of everything. And then the fireworks show at 10 p.m. On okay. Friday night. And then let's talk about the parade and the kids events. And, and then the parade is on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Festival kicks off again at 10 a.m. with the parade. So, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little, you know, biased, but there's nothing better than the downtown Jonesboro parades because you just got that nostalgic feel with yeah. the buildings and you've got, you know, the, all the patriotic tributes coming through. It's just the honor flight with oh, some of the World yeah. War II veteran. I mean, it's just, it's fabulous. I know somebody that's actually driving one of those old Jeeps yes. through the parade and he's so excited and he said, yes. you just feel, you feel the 4th of July at yes. this parade. Yeah, you really do. You really do. So yeah, another great day, Saturday, all kinds of stuff going on. Lots of kids activities. We're really excited about Discovery Park, which is our new kids area behind the Storytelling Center. There's going to be lots of ha uh, hands-on activities for kids and families that only take place in Jonesboro. So we're really playing up our hashtag only in Jonesboro with that. Um, there will be McKinney Center arts and crafts going on, hip-hop dance, bucket drums. Oh, there will also cool. be Oak Hill School will be set up with the school marm and they'll be doing little 30-minute segments of a school day in the 1900s. So um, Storytellers Guild will be there. There's going be a little bit of everything there. JRT princesses, so. You got to check it out. Yes. It's going to be so much fun. Here yeah. is the information. It is, of course, Jonesboro <clears throat> Days kicking off with that community dinner, as she mentioned, on Thursday night. All the activities taking place Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Check out their Facebook page for more information. They're updating that very quickly.